Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Samantha here. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. Thank you so much for considering clicking on this video and hanging out with me. I am currently working on the Victorian men for my decade series. I made the women in last week's cast video and I wanted to make a couple gentlemen friends for Elias because if you uh, have seen the first episode of my decades challenge in that episode Elias had uh, formed his own group and in the group we called it the um, the gentlemen's club I believe and so I wanted to make the gentlemen for that club um, I wanted to give everyone the traits that they would need so this is William Clinton he has the chef uh, aspiration he's self-assured uh, he is a dog lover and he is ambitious and I just uh, randomized three sims whatever popped up for the male sims here and I started to work with that I UCC it with these guys so everything that you guys see on these three gentlemen the description with the exact links will be down below if you guys are if you see something that you're interested in and you want to work on that so I'm just quickly going through and choosing all the traits for the guys and then I jump back here to William I had a hard time with him I don't know about you guys but I really struggle with eyebrows on male sims like no matter how much I try in detailed mode like I, I just suck at it I cannot get it right so I, I don't really do a lot when it comes to guys in cast like with changing their facial structure and stuff I'm not good at that I kind of just tend to go with whatever the game's given me like if that's the face they've got I might change out the nose a bit and I, I do use a lot of skin details the skin details I, I primarily use is from the creator Nords on uh, the Sims resource and I do have that linked also down below um, it is a Maxis match skin detail I personally prefer the Maxis match skin details uh, when it comes to my Sims I feel like they they look really good I'm not a huge fan of the super realistic ones I find that they the coloring is always off like they're either really gray or they're really orange I mean there are really good ones out there but I just haven't had the greatest luck finding um, any so if you do find some that you think I might like let me know down below so yeah I am just going through all the different looks I would say the sports look and the uh, hot weather look are the hardest ones to come up with when it comes to the Victorian age and I think it's because well I know it's because there's just not a lot of options for those looks uh, for those categories I have looked high and low on tumblr on mod the sims on you name it I've looked on the sims resource um, so there is a lot of great resources but just for those two specific looks like I said the fitness and the uh, what's it called hot wa hot weather I would not say that they're super accurate for the time um, but I tried to get it the best I could and I also tried to use a lot of stuff that came with the game that way you guys would be able to access them like I think maybe there's four or five CC links in total for this video because I mean I love using custom content especially in my builds it's my favorite um, but with something like this especially if I'm putting it out there I like for you guys to be able to have an easier time accessing them and if you downloaded him today his skin details would be off and his eyelashes and then maybe a couple outfits but the overall sim would still be the same and I realized later I named him William Clinton <laughs> I literally named this guy Bill Clinton so maybe this was like the original Clinton that had come to America uh, to fa to be one of the original founders of the country <laughs> uh, the next one is Abraham Williamson I gave him one of the money I can't remember which one that is but a money focused aspiration he is a outdoor lover and ambitious and gregarious perhaps um, but yeah I, I just mainly wanted to make sure they all had uh, the ambitious trait because that's one of the rules for the gentlemen's club is that they have to be ambitious which I think makes sense because men back then I think were pretty starry eyed and ambitious and not that they aren't today but you know you're coming to a new country they're just in a depression right now and eventually because of that new exciting time things start to come out of that and 
you know, a lot of inventions are happening, a lot of new business models are being created because of that um, new uh, environment that everyone was in. So I thought, you know, ambitious is a good trait to give the men and the women, uh, but the men in the group and Elias Dempsey, the main character of my decade series. Um, yeah, so I'm just figuring everything out. I kind of went with a purple theme for Abraham. I just thought he looked really good in it. I love this shirt that I found. There wasn't a lot of options for Victorian shirts for men, so I found like a loose fitting one and then one that was more fitted. A lot of stuff I used were from the Vampires pack and also, uh, what was the other one? Maybe Strangerville and maybe a little bit of Realm of Magic. But I love this top hat, it's super appropriate and they also have the perfect shoes that comes with the Vampires pack that is so dead on for that uh, era, so or that decade I should say. Um, so I do use that a lot. See, like here, I love the boots that I found on The Sims Resource, they're super cool. I think they're called hunting boots or something like that. Uh, again, they're down below. But um, the fitness, like I just couldn't figure it out, like whenever I looked at pictures for fitness, they almost wear like, I don't know, like when I picture the fitness of the decades back then, they wore these like baggy around the thigh pants that would clinch in around like the knees, but then they would have like ankle or like knee high boots. And then they would have like a loose footing, fitting flowy, like white cotton shirt, almost like um, maybe like Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, you know, when they're on the ships, they have those like white cotton pirate shirts. They kind of had that type of vibe uh, with maybe some suspenders. So that was a really hard look to try to find. Um, and also all the shorts are so tight fitting for the hot weather. Like none of these really are appropriate. I don't think many men wore a lot of shorts. I think they would wear more accurate, accurately at this time, probably were wearing, like I said, white cotton pants and materials just to keep cooler. Um, but I love the purple theme I went with for Abraham. I think it really suited him. I think it makes him look really, um, posh and sophisticated and just a really successful man, you know? Like when I look at Abraham, I'm like, no, this guy's gonna make moves. And I think it's kind of cute for Elias to have all these great friendships to build up. I think that's part of the fun of these challenges and, and the gameplay and the let's plays that we follow is that we get to know these characters. And as I do YouTube more and more, I realize how important it is to develop the relationships. Like when I first started, like I'm, oh, I was always getting the congratulations. You've had your sim do nothing for 24 hours. And I'd earn the introvert award <laughs> because I just didn't care to have them go talk to, you know, the townies and other sims. So I felt like if I made sims that I actually created, um, I'd be more inclined to not ignore them. Uh, this next sim is Branson Sap. I gave him a uh, successful lineage, gregarious, flirty, and ambitious. And I went with like a royal blue theme for him, which I think really suits his blonde hair. I couldn't decide on his hair for a while because the clay just looks so clay. Like, sometimes I don't mind the look, but in these men's hairs that I was originally picking, I just didn't like it. So I ended up settling on a blonde, uh, short hairstyle and I think it looks really cute. I think all these guys have a lot of variety in them. Like the, they all have the same like Victorian vibe about them, but they also have their own personality. And I think that it turned out really great. Uh, I think that they're all gonna bring something different to the group and it'll give Elias a good variation and, uh, in the different friendships that he can make and grow as he goes through his story. And yeah, so I really liked all of them. I think they all turned out awesome. But yeah, so by now you guys have seen the second episode of the Decades Challenge. You guys will have to let me know what you thought of that episode. I'm not sure how I feel about Alice. I'm so happy that Elias met her and he seems to really like her, but I worked so hard on the women cast video that I was like, no, you must marry one of them. So I feel kind of bad forcing him to marry someone he doesn't love. But I was thinking about it, like at that time, it was probably really common for like a male suitor to come to the family home and meet all of the daughters and like choose a wife. And <laughs> I thought maybe 
he could still go on a date with all the other girls and I figured whoever has the highest love bar he can go with but at the same time he had a really hard time hitting it off with a lot of the girls and finally he's hit it off with Alice so I kind of feel bad taking that away from him so you guys will have to let me know because I'm feeling a little conflicted when it comes to that I just want him to have a good wife because I think they're gonna have a fairly hard life and I want him to have someone who's gonna make him happy and just add to the game you know so yes please let me know what you guys thought of that video and I would love to hear from you guys so it's getting pretty close to the end of the recording here now so I think I'm gonna close this out if you guys liked this video please hit the thumbs up please hit subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for all of your guys's support I really appreciate it every time you watch a video or hit the like button it means so much to me and until next time I am going to say bye for now you guys